Hey guys, it's James here from Blueprint Lab. In today's video, I'm going to run you through how to swap out the end module for your Reach Alpha unit. Now you can do this on the go to really customize your solution and get the most out of your product. Let's get into it. So I've got my Reach Alpha 5 unit here. Uh, it's got the standard wrist rotate and jaw uh, end module. And I'm gonna be swapping that out today for our Reach Alpha Pan Tilt module using this service kit. Now, it's important to remember before we start here that this unit is held completely under vacuum. So our first step in this procedure is to release that vacuum so that we can separate these modules. So I'm gonna grab my 1.5 mil hex key and undo these outer covers that are covering the vacuum ports. Next, I'm grabbing my T10 Torx bit and I'm removing the two seal screws that hold the vacuum in place. The first one's on the end effector here. One. The second one is on this base shoulder joint here. Now we're gonna jump into reach control and check that our pressures have been released correctly. Important to note, you need to connect the arm up in order to read the pressures. To access the climate panel, we wanna click 10 times in this area underneath the question mark here. Now once this secret panel appears, we wanna scroll down here until we see climate panel and then check that axes A, B, C and D are all set to one bar pressure and colored red. Now that we know pressure's been safely released from the module, we can open it up safely. Now we're gonna do that by loosening this bayonet here and removing this end module. So the first step is to access the grub screw in the side and remove that. And then we use this spanner tool to loosen the bayonet. Keep turning until it tightens on the far side. Now this is the tricky part that everyone gets wrong. We're gonna to push together these two modules until we close that gap. We're gonna rotate 45 degrees in either direction and then slowly start to wiggle the final module until it comes loose, like so. Next, we're gonna unscrew this retaining nut here and remove the plug. To reattach the new end effector, we're just gonna do the process in reverse. Attach the plug, re-screw on the retaining nut. The slots inside the housing will show you the alignment of the final module. Take note of the alignment of the slots, push the two modules together until the gap is closed, rotate by 45 degrees, allowing some pressure to start coming out until you feel it click into place. A gap should reappear here. To double check you've got the alignment correct, you can always connect it through to reach control and compare the final product to the 3D render in the computer. Retighten the bayonet and insert the grub screw. Now we're gonna jump back into reach control to check our pressures as we re-pull the vacuum within the arm. Take the vacuum pump, insert it into the vacuum port closest to the base of the arm, and pump repeatedly to remove air from the module. Heading back into reach control, we wanna keep an eye on the pressure in axis C and D as we're pulling air out of that module. You wanna get it to around 0.35, maybe a tad lower, and then we're gonna insert the seal screw to seal the vacuum. Apply some marine grease to the O-ring of the seal screw and some Loctite provided on the thread of the screw. Insert it into the valve and screw to close. Now we're gonna pull the vacuum in the final module. Take the vacuum pump, insert it into the vacuum port of axis A and B, and pull the vacuum until you see 0.35 on axis A and B's pressure in reach control. Quickly insert the seal screw to hold the vacuum in place. Remember to put the Loctite and the marine grease on prior to installing the screw. Double check all the pressures inside reach control. Axes A through to F should all be between 0.3 and 0.4 bar. If any of them range outside those values, re-pull the vacuum in that module. Click read all, capture all, and save. 
The final step is to replace the vacuum port cover that we removed at the start. That completes the module changeover. I've now got a fully working Reach Alpha 5 inspector ready to go at a moment's notice. Thanks for watching today's video guys, tune in next time.